so hello and welcome to my channel today we will learn how to host your first ever flutter website on firebase so we are going to be continuing from the last tutorials which i have done of creating your first ever website with flutter then we uploaded that project or firebase uh, uh, flutter website sorry on code magic now in this video i will show you how to host or you can say upload your uh, flutter website on firebase so the project which we created last time was uh, you can have a look at it the indian app guy dot code magic app dot com uh, dot app sorry so just let me show you what we did build okay so uh, this uh, the video if you haven't already watched them you can the link will be in the description so this is what a very basic website we built last time, right? So I have done some manipulations and edits and all so that we can make it better. As I mentioned in the first video as well that, uh, you know, we can make our website responsive as well. For example, in this uh, one, if we do something like this, you know, you can see like the text and all. It is a responsive website as well. So, sorry. So basically, this is the web one we will be hosting. Uh, I just changed it so that we can make sure we are not hosting the same website again and again on different sites. Uh, okay, so what you have to do for this is basically first visit firebase.com. Okay, so I have already opened my console. Let me show you from steps first. Firstly, we will open Firebase. Okay. Sorry for a little bit slow internet. I don't know why it is. Okay, so then we will select um, our account. I have multiple, so that's why option. Then you have to just go to console. Once you are in the console, you have to create a new project, add project. I'm going to name this my portfolio now the thing which you need to understand as well is whatever the name you will give here it will be the first hosting kind of codomain which will be created so i'm going to try to name it my name okay and i'll click on that uh, just to make sure that we have it okay so it is taken so i will say something interesting <laughs> okay that is taken as well so what can i add 26 okay that's fine okay so we'll say continue and we will say continue basically the reason why i was you know getting it perfect is because when we will uh, go to the hosting uh, the first codomain which is given is your project name dot firebase dot app and your codomain uh, your project name dot web dot app so that's how it, it works that's why uh, whenever you're creating a new project uh, make sure you give it name accordingly so that you know that uh, it's not a problem you can actually create one more hosting and do that but it's just better okay so let's so our project is ready we will click on continue and that there it is so we will open our project we will go to hosting okay before hosting our project or our fire uh, flutter project uh, what we have to do we have to build for web now for building for web first way is you can say simply write flutter build web something like this i'm not 100 percent sure you can just check it out but the thing which is important is uh it should work on your like you haven't set uh the environment which you have to set right so for myself i have set a uh, set like the flutter and all things are working but for some reason this is not working so this is what i do I visit codemagic.io, the last, uh, you know, I show. So basically you have to visit codemagic.io and I will click on written my app and we have to follow the same procedure. So what I, we did in that uh, video is basically firstly upload our project on GitHub, which I have already done. So let me show you that. Just a second. Okay, so this is the one uh, I have already uploaded my project on GitHub. So the first step will be uploading your project. So if you are using uh, Android Studio, you just have to go to VCS, click on that, import into version control and share project on GitHub. Once that is done, 
visit code magic uh, it may ask you to sign up if you already don't have an account and once you sign up then it will ask you to authorize with your github account once you do then all your public uh, projects will be listed over here so i will search my project which is my portfolio i will click on it now what we want we want to build for web so we will click on the settings icon and it will show us these options we will scroll down a bit we will go to build option we will click on it and here you can see we have multiple options we have android ios web mac os and linux i will uncheck android uncheck ios mac and linux and we will have only web selected we will scroll down a bit uh, we can select release i haven't noticed much of a difference but let's go with that and save okay you can see now if we want to host this on code magic you just have to do this you can type in for example let me type my name and i will click on save okay it's done then what you have to do one important cheese the you have to update the version okay you have to select channel beta it's currently what is working according to monday 10 february 2020 uh, you can check if if you're watching it quite uh, after some time then it hopefully it will be like in alpha uh, like sorry it will be like stable or something but right now it's not so we will select the general beta okay once that is done then we can click on start new build then we will click on start new build okay then our project will start building i'm not 100 percent sure how much time it will take so let me get it built and i'll be right back once it is done okay so it is done now what we have to do we have to click on this web dash web dot zip once we will click on it it will download so i will select the directory to be okay yeah i'll just name the folder to be firebase this is basically where you want to save your file right now i have that now i will double click on it and it will be extracted so these are the files which we have okay now we will come back to firebase click on get started now it will show us this step so we will copy this open terminal or cmd according to our operating system and we have to paste this i have already run it more than twice actually so i will not run it but you can just hit enter if it's not working so what you can do you can type sudo and uh, then this then it will ask your password and then it will work okay once this is done what you can do is you can also use your uh, this terminal for this so i will come over here and if you click on next what we have to do is firebase login so i will click firebase login okay so i have logged in with the indian app guy let me check if that is the same email no it is i am sanskar Dewari, right so what i will do i will say firebase log out okay so let me show you how the process works so when you will type firebase login hit enter it will show you this so you have to accept the privacy policy and it will open up a new browser window and you can basically log in so i am going to select i am sanskar devari at the rate gmail.com and then click on allow okay so it's successfully done i'll close that when you will come back you can see success logged in as i am sanskar devari at the rate gmail.com so the next step is you have to type in firebase you can see over here as well it will be firebase in it okay let me get back to it okay the next step is firebase in it you can copy that or you can just type it there firebase in it now select hosting spacebar enter 
use an existing we are going to use an existing so enter or return then our project name is sanskar tiwari return or enter now this is the name which you are going to give your directory if i open up my project in finder or you may open it in explorer or something this is the project right now this is the name uh, now here it is asking for the name which you will want you want to give to that directory so let me give that public so right now you can see there is no public folder here right i am giving it public i will hit enter and then it will say as a single app a uh, single page app right so all the urls will be redirected to index.html so we will yes and enter and now you can see we have a public folder it's a index which is a pre uh, kind of template you know firebase hosting setup completed now now what we have to do is we have to update this okay to the one which we have over here these files i will select them all so basically uh, copy pasting right once that is done we will come back click on next we have to now firebase deploy so i will come here let me open this one yeah okay so i will say firebase deploy and enter we have a firebase debug.log and it's saying deploying hosting let's see okay so adding files to version okay so it is done now file upload is completed but it is not yet deployed yet so let me go to continue to console and uh, this personally happened with me first time actually usually it will show you that it is hosted in something on okay so for some reason i think the process is not yet completed so let me try that again firebase base deploy okay there was some problem with that let me do that again I will write Firebase in it once again. Select hosting, and as last time, we will select the same folder, public. Yes. Okay. Now we already have this file, right? So, if we choose that to be re um, rewritten, then it will be the first which was. Uh, you know like uh, there was a box and it is implemented in something we don't want to rewrite so we will click right yes oops sorry i did rewrite <laughs> i'm sorry so you have to double click on that copy them okay so this is the updated one right so it has been overwritten so we updated that now what we will do we will say firebase firebase deploy and uh, we will be confirmed and yeah so that's what i was saying we can add multiple sites if this is not the exact domain as i said the project name dot web dot app and project name dot firebase dot com is the two domains provided to you so let me try firebase deploy once again let's hope this works this time okay now this is uh you can see you know the after uploading process it it is showing finalization version and stuff releasing new version release complete and let's see okay my name is there so i think it is working <laughs> let's see 
Okay, so congratulations. We have finally hosted our website on Firebase. Hope you learned something from this video. If you did get some, uh, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. These small you know, numbers uh, really motivates a lot to make more and more content for you. So yeah, hope you have a great day and see you next time.